It's time for another lap guide. We're at Road Atlanta in the Group 4 cars on racing hard tyres. Let's see if we can help you go quicker. Road Atlanta in the Group 4 cars is this week's daily race B in Gran Turismo 7. And it's quite a tricky circuit this one, especially with the blind corners and the downhill S section. Looking on the leaderboards, it's actually the Silvia that is the meta car for this track. But in this lap guide, I'm going to be using the Ferrari 458. Couple of reasons for this, the car is very stable and easy to drive, it tends to slide rather than spin out, and the way the gearing is works just as well for manual or automatic gears. The Ferrari also has really good acceleration, so should still be competitive in the races. So without further ado, let's get on with the lap guide. Heading round the corner and crossing the line to start our lap, you want to stay over on the left hand side looking out for this orange patch on the wall. You want to hit the brakes just after that, breaking in a straight line and then turn in as the grass on the left starts. I'm mostly coasting here, aiming for this kerb and starting to get the power back on. But watch you don't go too far wide onto this kerb on the left. Aim for the center of the track up until you get to this sign on the left. That's the signal to start moving back over to the left again. Your next braking marker is this line across the centre of the road. You want to be braking in a straight line just after you pass that, but not in a straight line right ahead. You want to be angled a bit more over to the left hand side so you can follow the kerb around as you hit the brakes. Once you get towards the end of the kerb, you want to swing back over to the right. I'm mostly coasting at this point, aiming to clip this kerb on the right hand side. Watch out for clipping too much as it's easy to get a penalty there. Feeding the power fully on and following this kerb round. Catching hold of the kerb does help the rotation a little bit. Totally flat out around this section and looking out for this sign on the left hand side. As you go past the sign you want to swing back over to the right. Notice I'm lifting a little bit there to make the corner. When you get to this section of the track, you're trying to get as straight a line as possible through this S section, taking a big chunk of this kerb on the left hand side, and looking out for your next braking marker, which is where this kerb sticks out most into the track. Brake following the line of the kerb, swing over at the end of it, taking a big chunk of this kerb on the left, and getting on the power. I thought I was going to get a penalty here, so watch you don't run too far wide. Your full power down this section, keep over to the left hand side and you're looking for this start of the concrete on the right. You want to break just before there or just after this pole works as well. Breaking in a straight line and then coasting in just before the 100 board, aiming to clip this kerb, feeding the power back on and aiming for the kerb on the left. Once you hit the kerb, slam on the brakes and then turn in just before the end of the kerb. Be careful of that kerb unsettling the car and also be very careful about spinning as you get the power back on. And then it's full power all the way down this straight. I'll just speed this up a little bit and you're looking out for your next braking marker, which is the 200 meter board. You want to be braking just after that. Keep an eye out for this kerb on the left hand side as you're braking. Once that hits the edge of the screen, that's where you want to turn in. Cutting this kerb on the left, swinging back over to the right to cut this kerb and feeding in the power watching that you don't go too far wide as you head up the hill towards the blind corner you want to keep an eye out for this sign on the bridge if you aim for the red and the white part of that you will make the corner okay as i go over the hill i'm heading in a straight line down towards the kerb in front and then going to swing over to the right there's a compression there that i'm aiming to hit it helps rotate the car and allows you to take this corner at full speed without going wide and that completes our lap of Road Atlanta in 125.327. When I completed the lap, it was a top 500 time, probably well outside that now, but as I always say, if you can go much faster than this, you probably don't need a lap guide. The lap is shared as well, so if you go into the discovery section, search replays for Jims to 71, you will find the replay available should you want to watch it from any of the other viewpoints. And also, if you want to race against it as a ghost, you can add it to your collection. If you're not sure how to do that, I've done a separate video on that, which I will link to down in the description. So that's all for this lap guide. Don't forget to leave a like if you found it useful. And if you've got any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. 
I've been Jimster71. Thanks for watching, and until next time, why not check out one of these two videos or consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to help out the channel further, then memberships are available. There's also a link to that in the description. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.